Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 6 of Direwolf20's Let's Play series. I've been doing a little bit of mining off camera, have to repair my hammer. I also got the obsidian that I promised I would get. Uh, I think one of the first things I want to do today is maybe set up a nether portal. Um, because I'd like to pop into the nether, see what kind of resources I can snag from there real quick. Um, and then maybe we'll work on some automation. There's a few things I wouldn't mind automating. I mean, I have this fancy backpack now, which, you know, I'm pretty excited to have. Woot. Love the backpack. It's super cool. And it's fashionable. Anyway, let's head down to the nether. Uh, one of the other things I want to check in on is my cows. How you doing, cows? Everybody happy over here? Are we doing good? Yeah, we are. Look at all the cows we have. It's amazing. It's feeding them. Thank you, actually, additions. You're doing a great job. I'm proud of you. Um, so leather's not going to be a problem for too much longer. Uh, I might even want to do a little exploring around my world today, but we'll see if we get to that. There's so much I would like to get done um, that it's insane to even manage. But let's do what we can do. Um, so first things first, um, put away some stuff, get my obsidian, figure out where my nether portal's going to live. So in reality, I'm going to have a base out here, right? And the base is going to be probably sprawled out around this area. Um, and I'll probably be moving and rearranging a few things uh, as time goes by. So this temporary little house with a door on it, which is super temporary, is really mostly just going to be the entrance to my mining cave when I want to go downstairs and mine with my hammer. And I feel like, you know, down here is probably not a bad place to throw my nether portal because it'll be far enough away from my house. One of the big things with the nether portal for me is not being able to hear. Like, I don't want to hear all over the place when I'm like laying and sleeping in my bed and having a nice time in my base. So the nether portal being far enough away that I don't hear it, but close enough that I do manage to actually like get to it every now and then would be nice for me. Um, the other thing I'm going to work towards is getting more gravel because every time I need flint for any reason or another, I immediately say to myself, oh, I have to go mine for it. So why don't I just get like a bunch of gravel right now? Nice and quick. Tear it up. I wonder what, if there's a re recipe for gravel. So there's compressed, there's man infusion, the crusher does it. A bunch of different things do it, but I don't think anything that I have currently does it. So, we'll collect some gravel, just a little bit. That should probably be enough for now. That totally works. Even get a few flint out of this. And everybody wins. Okay, cool. So, let's go set up our nether portal. So we're going to need flint and steel. Check. We're going to need the obsidian. We're going to want to cross our fingers that we don't, you know, spawn in a terrible nether spawn. Because I haven't tested this mod world at all. So I have no idea what kind of world gen I'm going to have. So let's just cross our fingers for something good. So I'm just going to put it a little bit down inside here, for example. This looks like as good a place as any. And yay for that backpack, it's awesome. All right, so we'll do our nether portal here. Do I have enough obsidian or do I need a little bit more? I think I might need a little bit more obsidian, right? So let's, because I'll put it here, here, and here. So that should be a good layout, right? So I'll go get a couple more pieces of obsidian. Two ways I could go about doing this, um, if I'm too lazy to go mine it. Not like I purposely got too short of what I need so that I can demonstrate this, but um, I could easily just make my obsidian in here. Molten obsidian. One block, two blocks. Totally a good reason to have that infinite water source there. And I should be able to just pour it out and it'll cool itself into actual obsidian. Nice. I mined the others because I didn't want to... I mean, I'm, I'm, I want that lava that I have, right? We've only got about four, almost five buckets left. So if I... Uh, I wouldn't have enough buckets of lava to make all the obsidian I needed. But I wanted to make sure you guys knew about the options there. That's another portal, right? I hope so. Hooray! Looks good to me. I like the 3x3 portal look. So I just want to go with something a little bit different than normal. I mean, I could have gone, you know, two by three, but I wanted to go three by three. So I grabbed myself a few extra. We need to go deeper. Achievement get. Nice. 
this. Hey, this is actually not a terrible spawn. Look at this. <gasps> There's a blaze island over there. There's some interesting stuff down there. I don't know what that is. We're gonna find out though. Part of me wants to build like a little base inside here so that I'm a little bit safe. What's this stuff? Basalt? Yeah, basalt. Not a bad looking nether spawn. Of course there's a ghast camp in my spawn, because that's what ghasts tend to do. I don't know about you guys, but my experience has always been... Cobalt! Should have gone in my backpack, by the way. When you go to the, the nether looking for ghasts, you never find ghasts. When you go there for the first time, ghasts everywhere. Let's see if I can get a good old return to sender going on here. Nope. Do you even return to sender anymore? Apparently not. Ah! Alright, I'm totally getting out of here, and I'm gonna, like, protect my nether portal spawn, because I want to make sure that I don't have any major problems with it. Ooh, more cobalt. I want to go hide in the overworld, but then I see cobalt, and I'm like, no, gimme. Hmm, nether rack too. If I'm not being attacked right now, I'm cool. A little more basalt. Nice. I'm gonna head off in this direction. I wanna see what these, uh... I actually legitimately don't know what those are. It's probably something vanilla. People are like, dire wolf, you derp. It's vanilla mechanics. Don't you know anything? The answer is no. Yay, cobalt. Cobalt's awesome for Tinker's tools. Has a really fast mining speed. So I'm totally going to get that on my pick in a minute here. Working my way down towards whatever this, like, glowy block stuff is. Just want to make sure I don't, like, dig under the ground and fall into lava. That would probably be bad. Yeah, this looks good to me. So this is magma block. Is this vanilla Minecraft? Let's see what it's used for. Uh, nothing. Seriously, what's a magma block? <laughs> is this vanilla? It says it's vanilla. I was kidding when I said it was a vanilla mechanic that I didn't know. It looks cool. Maybe it's something added by chisel or something like that? Ow, oh, it does sting. You probably don't want to stand on magma. Okay. Cool. Wouldn't mind a little bit of ardite. Maybe even some glowstone while I'm in here. But we'll see. For now, this might be sufficient. I do have armor, so it's not like I'm in really bad shape. I wouldn't mind finding something that would maybe be useful... by way of fire protection. It's a couple items from a couple different mods that can protect me from fire damage. There's Batania. There's potions. There's a couple other things. I'll have to look into all my options. But this looks like a pretty reasonable spawn. Yeah, I'll take it. Considering I don't have any other options. Alright, let's go back to the overworld and hope the portal's not derpy. Cross your fingers for non-derpy portals. <gasps> Yay! No derp, no derp. Alright, so we've been to the nether. Hooray! Let's um let's replace our tool head. I'm gonna smelt up a piece of this cobalt. That is totally in my backpack. Nice. Along with the nether quartz. Cobalt, you go in there. One. Check. Uh, we'll probably want a couple pieces of clay as well. I'm going to eventually want a cobalt hammer too. Because cobalt is awesome sauce. Put away some of the junk we don't need. Put away some of the good resources we do want. We can put flint in here. 
And limestone, yeah, you can go in there too. Um, so according to the book, these are modifiers. Cobalt is a mining speed of 12, which is like the fastest by far. It also has momentum. Mining blocks increases your speed as long as you keep going. Um, and it has lightweight, increases the overall speed of your tool when mining and attacking. Um, so basically, Cobalt's awesome for speed. If you want a fast mining resource, Cobalt's the way to go, okay? Um, now, I did make a sword blade out of this stuff, but let's get ourselves a quick pickaxe head dude. And it's gotten dark out, so we better be careful. Clay, you cool off while I'm gonna go sleep for the night. And it might not be a terrible idea to repair my tool while I can right now, uh, just because that would be smart. So let's get some copper and some tin. So I don't think I have any bronze already made. We'll combine these two guys. And for now, we'll pour the cobalt into the pickaxe head so that we have it. Nice. That was really the main reason I went. And I'm going to want two more pieces of copper, right, while I'm here. Because it's three copper and one tin, right? Pretty sure that's right. Interesting. I didn't know that that would happen. For some reason, it, like, reset the status bar on that thing. That might be a little tinker's bug. Cool. Cool. So this way the tool will be fully repaired before I upgrade it to cobalt, and then I won't need to use cobalt to repair it. So bronze should be combining. I do like kind of how the, the system works in Tinkers in this version, where it kind of like takes a while to, to merge the two. It's kind of neat, in my opinion. I think it's cool. Like it's not an instant combine, right? Sweet. And then we got eight ingots. So you can start uh, pouring, provided that I put this back on. Nice. And then we'll get that one bronze ingot here and repair this tool. And then combine you with this guy. So currently my mining speed is 6.8. Now it's gonna be 12. How cool is that? So that's gonna be a lot faster to mine. Let's go give it a try real quick just to give it a shot. definitely noticeably faster especially when I put it on the hammer but I'm gonna need a lot more cobalt before I can upgrade my hammer let's also think about making a base so I have an idea I want to try should we try an idea I'm gonna try an idea how are we for leather at the moment not as much as I totally need but probably enough to get started we're also decent on string so let's get some wheat we're gonna need to go talk to our cows no actual cows were harmed in the creation of this episode. And by actual cows, I mean real life cows. Is there some way not to swing around like a lunatic and hit the baby cows, really? Can we not do that, Minecraft sword? There probably is a way, I just don't know what it is. Enough for me. Here you go, guys. Sorry for killing half of you. Have some wheat. Uh, maybe some string, too, while I'm at it. Remember that ender pearl I planted in episode one? It's almost there. <laughs> it's got a ways to go. It'll grow faster on end stone, but I think we're a ways away from getting to the end. So let's make some string. Nice. And let's make a new backpack. Basic backpack requires wool. So we should have a little bit of wool. And a chest. Cool. Basic backpack. Should I upgrade this to iron? How many slots are in here? That should be enough for now. Enough for now. We'll upgrade it later. Does that sound like a plan? Definitely. Um, one of the upgrades that we want to put on there, how many upgrade slots do we have on the basic? Six upgrade points? 
Cool. Um, what I wouldn't mind getting is nesting, advanced, quick, precise, fuzzy filters, restocking upgrade. That's what I want. Two sticky pistons and two regular pistons. Okay, and an upgrade core, which is leather, string, and paper. Not too terrible. I think I'm out of paper, so let's go harvest some rice. I'm gonna actually need rice for a few of the things I'm about to need, because I need some kind of sticky doohickey. All right, so that's nine. I might be enough. I might need a little bit more rice, at which point we'll go visit the watering can. In fact, I'm gonna say I'm totally gonna need more rice, so let's make sure that, because we're gonna need that upgrade core, right? Check. Um, do we have any more rice in here? No, we do have more rice. Good, all right, so we're cool. Um, we're gonna need sticky pistons, two of them. Um, so let's get four, let's get the ingredients for four pistons. And I should have more wood around here somewhere. Yeah, I do. Check. Um, now sticky pistons, we can use slime balls, slime in a bucket, slime, slime, coagulated blood, slime, or rice ball. Rice ball is a bucket of water with four rice dough around it. Um, that seems totally reasonable to me. And rice dough, is three rice becomes two rice dough. Okay, so if I did you and then add a bucket of water, you, and then we did this, that should get me four rice balls. Neat. And then I can take half of them, make them pistons, and then from a restocking upgrade uh, perspective, you, we should be good to go. And I can combine these guys, right? Minimum tier iron backpack. Good to know. Let's make this one more upgrade focused, right? Now nah, we're gonna have to make it. Yeah, we'll make it. We'll make it storage focused. That's fine. Because I don't think I have the paper currently to make it upgrade focused. So restocking upgrade. Check. We're gonna name you. Builder bag. Does that sound cool? Yeah. I wouldn't mind this thing also having a filter on it. So a basic filter upgrade requires four paper and it also requires four paper. So eight paper in total. A little bit low on that need, pretty much. I don't suppose rice grew by chance, did it? Let's um put some stuff away. I'll probably still need my string but you guys can go away at least. Solidified experience. Yay. Watering can, where'd you go? We're gonna need a little bit more rice and then we can make what I wanna make. Grow, rice plants, grow. All right, so that's the six paper I need. I want the basic filter upgrade, please. And I'm gonna make it so that this bag, the builder bag, automatically picks up cobblestone. Um, and it's gonna restock cobblestone as well. So check this out, right? Um, basic bag, basic filter, cobblestone, restocking cobblestone, right? Um, for the time being, let's get, let's get an item frame. Seems reasonable. Hoping this works. So you're my builder bag, you're my mining backpack. I'm gonna have different backpacks for different purposes. Can I put you inside there? Yeah, I can, nice. Mining backpack, sweet. I like it, okay. So now my builder bag can sit here. So check this out, right? Get a bunch of cobblestone, okay? And inside the builder bag, we're gonna put all this cobblestone, okay? Watch what happens every time I place cobblestone in the world. Neat. Look what happens every time I pick up cobblestone. So the cobblestone comes out of the, my inventory and then the, the restocking upgrade that we have on here 
restocks my inventory with the items from the bag. And the filth upgrade being on there means it goes back into the bag. So now I can build with a lot of cobblestone without filling my inventory. Sweet. I like it. So let's put away some stuff. There's another thing I want to get that'll help with my building. We have a mod called Better Builder's Wands. It lets you make builder wands. Um, so the stone wand, the iron wand, and the diamond wand are the basic ones. And you can get some unbreakable ones that are a little bit more crazy. Um, there's also a builder's wand from Extra Utilities, which is also nice. But it requires magical wood, which um, I don't want to use the gold for yet. So let's make a better builder's wand, the iron version. I mean, I don't want to use a diamond on it. Diamond builder's wands are awesome, by the way. They really are much better than the iron ones, but it's all good. So let's check our control options for better builder's wands. Change mode M. Is this going to work? Nope. All right. What, um, what else is using M at the moment? Mode switch key for IC2. Can you be N by chance? No, 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 no. Semicolon, sure. Anything else using M? So many hotkeys. Some of them are okay when they overlap, but some do not appreciate it. So you still say you're overlapping, but it's working now. So even though there's something overlapping, it's all good. So let's take a nap. And then what we're gonna do is build with our build builder's wand and it should work. Um, so you can change your mode key. So you can see there's several modes. Um, so extend up and down from the original block, or we can extend left and right from the original block. That's cool. Might need the diamond one to build upwards, but we'll see. So let's say we want to build a base. Where would that base be? I mean, we could just have it like right here-ish. So maybe we would want the main entry to the base to be here. And we could do, you know what I'm building. You better know what I'm building. So now I don't think I can build on the top face with the better builder's wand, with the iron one. The diamond one does allow me to go up. Um, but this was just uh, to get started. This should do, and I should be able to extend it out this way. Nice, that's cool. Now, I can also extend this out this way. Now, you should be resupplying me. It might be on block place, so I might need to place that block every now and then. That's good to know. So, so far we've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. I think I used up all my stuff though. That's good to know. Um, I might need to see if I can ping the mod author about that and see if we can't get that to work better. It's not bad. It's not bad the way it is by any stretch, but it would be cool. I'm sure he's just using like when you place the block to resupply you, which makes sense, except when you're using better builders wands. Okay. So that's cool. We've got the foundations of a base. Nice. Let's get a roof on this bad boy. I miss flight. That'll do. Okay. You guys should know what this is. At least I hope you do. We had to have one in the series. You knew that, right? A classic nine by nine. Beautiful. I'll be fancying it up eventually. Calm down. Spoil sports. I can hear the comments on the YouTube video already. It's so ugly. All right, to be fair, it is kind of ugly. But, uh... A typical direwolf 29 by 9 it needs to happen at least once we'll, we'll upgrade it because we do have chisel and we have chisel in bits and we can make fancier stuff I'll work on it but for now the basics are here so throw our crafting table in there 
throw our trash can in there. Grab our bed. We'll probably want to move our resources. Um, furnaces, you guys can come along for the ride if you want. Yeah. And this mining backpack can probably stay in here. We'll probably move these resources in a minute. Figure it out. I haven't exactly designed how my base is going to look just yet. Um, at the very basics, I want to have a bed to sleep in. Yay. Uh, probably going to want a door. Going to want a crafting table. Going to want one of these dudes. Nice. And we can probably, for now, set up some of the machines that we're going to want in here, like these things. And the furnaces. And one of you can have tiny coal. And the other two can have normal coal. Does that work? What does smelting coal get you? Oh, creosote. Cool. That's interesting. I didn't know that recipe existed. Good to know, though. All right, so the basic foundations of a house. Uh, we'll probably be changing that up soon, but I wanted to make sure that I had the foundation there. And uh, part of that was to see how the better builder's wand would work with the restocking upgrade on the builder's bag. Not too shabby. All right, back in a moment. So this might be a really bad idea, but I came to the nether because I want blaze rods for a specific purpose. Going against three blades might hurt. A little bit better, but I don't want what I get to go into the lava there. So come here, blaze. Get away from that lava, please. Please get out of the lava so I can kill you without my spoils going into the lava. Let's go over here. I hit you several times. You should really hate me right now. Thank you. Nice. I hear him. Where is he? He's hiding in the lava. Get out of it. I need a bow and arrow. Alright, now that you hate me a lot, let's go. Over here. Oh my, there's more of them. Ouch. That was my blaze rod situation too. Can't fly. Gonna hurt. Gotcha, three. That's what I want. Let's get out of here. Pretty sure my portal's down here. Escape! Wait, there's something else I need. Something else I need from the nether. I forgot. Came here for two things, and I only got one of them. I need glowstone. What's my health situation like? Ah! Running away. Glowstone, please. There's some. Been pretty good reach at that. I think I can hammer that stuff, right? Of course you would be right above lava, but... Ouch. I think that's enough. Totally think that's enough. Question is, will I survive getting out of here at this point? So close. If I had more food on me, I'd be in much better shape. But I don't. So. Escape! So what do I want to make? Uh, something fancy. Something cool. Something requires... Some of you... Maybe some of you... Maybe even more of you. I wouldn't mind having some food apples. Good enough for now. I'll cook up something better in a minute. Mm. Regeneration for the win. Alright, so I think I've got enough stuff. You know what I should probably do? Light up my house.
the reasons for having nine by nines, there are many rumors as to why they exist. This is the actual reason. Nine by nine is the perfect size to have torches on the walls and no light in the middle. That's all there is to it. That's the reason the nine by nine exists. See? The torch was one block higher on multiple sides, right? Uh, like it was a minute ago. We'd have some spaces that could have darkness, right? So that's the reason the nine by nine was originally designed because it's the perfect size to not have torches on the ground. Because I don't like this look. That looks silly to me. As ironic as that is. Let's make something cool. Um, so what I probably want to have is one of these. And you know what? I need two of these. I need three more blaze rods. All right. Let me go get those off camera. Well, I got returned to sender. I don't know if I got any gas tears for that. Totally, like, just came up here and he was right there. And I couldn't hit record fast enough. But it was close enough. All right. Back to hunting for blaze rods. Hey, Ardite. And that, my friends, is three more blaze rods. Let's go back. Ugh, hiding from things. All right, so let's get ourselves this. Check. Let's get ourselves more of these. A wand core. So I'm clearly making something from not enough wands. Which wand am I making? Well, I just told you I'm gonna wanna upgrade this fancy little pants that I got house. Let's get a couple glowstones and we will get ourselves the swapping wand. Nice, we can swap blocks with it. All it needs is a little bit of power. I think the problem is, is that I don't have anything to charge it in. Powered furnace, coal generator. We don't have anything to actually charge stuff. Um, so we might need to wait till next episode to get that. What's an energizer cost me if I was gonna stick with these things, Redstonia Crystal and Advanced Coil, which is gold nuggets around a basic coil. Mm, I can do that real quick. We're super close to needing to wrap up, but a dozen redstone, we can pull this off. It's almost daytime. Let's sleep through the night so the mobs don't get me. There's not a bed there anymore, is there? Nope. I need a little bit more gold. What else am I gonna need? Four iron and a piece of U. Totally reasonable. People are shooting me, bad things are happening. Can you please fire your laser? Thank you. Dun, 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 dun. Totally want to complete this before we wrap up the episode. Um, so real fast, we will get you. I need more black quartz. This is why I should have moved my resources inside. Let's grab a bunch because, yeah. So, another one of you. Um, you're gonna need advanced coils. So one, two, and then you're going to need a machine casing. So one, and then finally, you should be good to make an energizer. Awesome. This can power any devices that require redstone power. We'll pop you on the back of the energizer for now. Or the, yeah, the coal generator. And uh, the coal generator, I don't know how much power this thing can hold. Let's find out. Joink. Enough to demonstrate its functionality, which works for me. Um, so the swapping wand is awesome because it can swap blocks in world with other blocks. So say that we wanted this house to be made of instead of stone, wood, right? Um, we can get our swapping wand here. We shift right click to set the block type and it remembers it. And then right click, boom, and it replaces it. And I can swap it back. Neat. Cool, right? Uh, you can use the equals button to increase the size. Seven by seven is the largest, which is perfect for my nine by nine house. So if I wanted a, a house made out of wood, for example, instead of cobble, it's as easy, presuming I have the power for it, which I may not. Nice. I'm out of wood, but you get the gist, right? Not bad. Pretty cool. So now the house looks a little less ugly, right? I said a little. I didn't say it was much less ugly. I said it was a little less ugly. So I'm out of wood, but you get the idea. So that's pretty cool. So what I think we're going to do is wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time, and maybe we'll work on making that house look a little bit nicer. Um, but at least for now, it doesn't look awful. Clearly, I have to replace a few more pieces of cobble. 
could probably throw a little bit of coal into that generator over there so that we could have more power. Um, I'll get a little bit. But for now, wrapping up point, probably way past it. Dial 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time with a little bit more crazy cool fun to play with. All right, guys. Take it easy.